so tired. Our train's been cancelled. Great start to the day. Welcome back to another match vlog. Wolves away today. Supposedly, we're meant to be going to the game. Got tickets in my bag. Six minutes past eight in the morning. Luckily, we're here early and they've cancelled the early train. So hopefully, we can get on another one. But that's a little bit of a bummer. Train gets cancelled. What do you do? Breakfast kick. If I get the golden ticket, this is. All right, so we're getting on a train at 8.49 to Liverpool Lime Street instead. I wonder if there's any football fans coming to a game in London who are on this train. You all right, George? Go ahead, mate. How are you doing? How are you? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Welcome on board the LA49 on the Northwestern Railway service through to Liverpool Lime Street. Let's go. All right, so literally, if you come about two minutes walk away, maybe even 30 seconds walk away from the Wolverhampton train station, I asked you guys for recommendations for Wolverhampton. Some people said get off in Birmingham and like go for a beer or something in Birmingham. There's a lot more there. But it's about 12, 13 miles away from Wolverhampton and the Molyneux. So someone recommended going to a place called Zuri Coffee, which is a coffee chai and Indian street food place. Yeah, another beautiful day for it. Let's go in here. please get a... If it's two onto Wolves, then I have to come in and buy two cups of coffee. We will do that. That's a promise. Oh, well, everyone seems pretty optimistic here. If we, if Chelsea win, we get free coffee. Chicken tikka wrap, four pound ninety-five. I rate it. Mmm, <laughs> that is on par with the toasties at Norwich. And the toasties at Norwich were like, cost me twelve pounds, two Peronis, and a chicken tikka wrap that tastes unreal. Guys, I can't believe I've let you all down. I made a statement when we were in Norwich a couple of weeks ago, trying to give you some cultural information so that when you come to this YouTube channel, you don't just get football hooliganism, you actually get a bit of information out of it. I said that a city can't be a city unless it's got a cathedral. Well, I was lying. In fact, I was just ill-informed, to be honest. I found out today there are plenty of UK cities without cathedrals, including Bath, Cambridge, Hull, Lancaster, Newport, and Wolverhampton.
after under Frank. Youth players scoring, flexibility with formations, flexibility with lineups. We're greening up a half time away at Wolves. The atmosphere is incredible. Chelsea have been insane. That goal from Fako Tamori is one of the best goals I've seen from a Chelsea player live in a stadium. It reminds me of the Pedro goal at Everton. I was in around the same seat at Goodison Park. 3 0 Chelsea. It was a flat game of football for 30 minutes. We are absolutely destroying them now. West Ham Liverpool. Because we are the Chelsea and we are the best. The food at Zuri Coffee was so, so good. Wolverhampton away, we have won 5-2. My voice is gone. It was an absolutely incredible day to be an away fan. There's just like this massive energy right now where every Chelsea goal is celebrated more so than it ever would have been before, which obviously if you're an away fan in the away end, it's always celebrated more so than ever before anyway because you've made the effort to come all the way to Wolverhampton. You're there because you support the team and all of this stuff. And today was absolutely no different and beyond from me. I think the fact that the first 30 minutes of the game were kind of dead. It was a poor footballing match between two teams that supposedly played good football. The first 30 minutes was awful. And then for Keo Tomori, I don't even know if I've even thought about words that I would properly use to describe that goal. It was an incredible finish, something that you don't expect from a man of that kind of maturity. But I think he's proved myself and everyone else wrong today. People may be questioning whether he's ready to be starting in this Chelsea team. There's absolutely no doubts in my mind that he is. When you see a performance like that, it wasn't just the goal, by the way. The finish was absolutely incredible. But it was the way he defended after he scored that goal as well that just showed me and everyone else in the Chelsea end that Fakeo Tomori is 100% ready. Come on, Chelsea! He's 100% ready to lead that back line for Chelsea Football Club, which is amazing. And then Tammy Abraham, the man who everybody wants to just say he's, he's, he only scores against the small teams. He only scores against the small teams, they say. You know, Wolverhampton Wanderers, that team in Europe nowadays. When are we all going to stop saying that Tammy Abraham only scores against the small teams? He bags a hat-trick at the Molyneux on what was a perfect end of summer's day. The sun was kind of like going in... Someone's not happy. Good luck next week, boys. The sun was kind of coming round. It was in our faces the whole day. It was just a perfect away day. I've been in the sun. I might have a bit of sunburn. My eyes might be a little bit gone. It's because uh, Sham Sharma's has actually served me uh, a gin smoothie in there right now. So I'm kind of editing this video, drinking a gin smoothie in this Indian coffee shop. Absolutely class. Uh, someone's just called me something a little bit absurd over my shoulder can't please everybody these days can you we'll just carry on anyway we're not harming anybody here thank you very much to wolverhampton for having us it has been a great day chelsea score five come on chelsea come on that's chelsea. what i like to see at least you're someone who supports me i appreciate that but anyway thank you guys for watching today five two to chelsea as always six things that we learn will be coming out on the youtube channel tomorrow where we can break down a little bit more of the actual play as opposed to me just drinking gin smoothies in an Indian coffee shop. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for this kind of content every single week. We bring you to a cultural experience around the country. I'll catch you all later. Come on, you guys.